what's up everybody it's VR gamer dude here and tonight we are gonna enter the world of the Blade Runner that's right so tonight we're gonna be taking our first look at uh, Blade Runner 2049 memory lab and man let me tell you I am super excited for this one I have been a huge fan of the movies since they first came out um, interested to see a, a high quality VR movie tie-in for the new movie here uh, the you know, so far what I've seen, the the holograms look fantastic. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it's it's deeply cinematic, so right up my alley. Now, because it is deeply cinematic, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut and I'm gonna do you guys a solid and just not talk during this one. So you know, you guys can follow along with the story. So all right, let's get in there and let's check out Blade Runner 2049 Memory Lab. Greetings, Replicant ID number NX96370.4. Your recent retirement has been cited for forensic memory review by the Los Angeles Police Department. Memory analysis will take place in a Wallace Corporation memory reconstruction facility under my hollow supervision. As a Joytech model, I am engineered to ensure the security of your data. You will be asked to recall the memory in question. Using the Stellian scanner, I will extract this memory from your mind for holographic viewing and analysis. As a replicant, your memories are the property of the Wallace Corporation, licensed to the Los Angeles Police Department. Interference in this process will lead to immediate retirement. Do not speak during the memory extraction and analysis. Follow all instructions carefully. Improper response to the Stellian scanner can cause permanent damage to memories and neural tissue. process is painless, provided you follow all the instructions. I'll see you shortly. I've never met a Blade Runner before. Memory extraction in progress. Memory extraction complete. Extracted memory ready to view. Go ahead, have a look. I assume this looks familiar. You chased a replicant through Baby's bar. You chased him to an alley. And then when you cornered him, What is this? What are you doing? I'm no replicant! <laughs> oh, not exactly by the book. I could use a little more data here. Stay still. I'll turn the scanner back on. Now stay focused on the perpetrator, please. Now maintain that focus for me. What's going on? Who do you think you are? Something's wrong. You're in a different memory. Standard procedure for retirement debrief is that you tell us if you know the replicant. You know that. Holding two memories in your mind at once produces dissonance and interferes with the Stellian memory transfer. Fortunately, I was able to save both memories to my system, but the interference means that the memories have been erased from your mind. So you have a memory of this replicant attacking you, but then you met him again today and you retired him. And you didn't follow procedure. You didn't even check for replicant ID. You just retired him, which is totally against your training and your genetic profile. Something does seem off here. 
I have enough data to reconstruct your memory. Let's go in and take a look. Welcome to your memory. That memo will let you control the simulation. To move around, point the memo where you want to go and push the control stick forward. Try it out. Come meet me over here. To teleport, aim at the blue node and press forward on the control stick. Spin the control stick to change your perspective when you complete your jump. Good. Let's get a closer look. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Do you want to know what you are? A saltweed skin job. <laughs> Come, ye heavy states of night. Do your father's spirit right. <laughs> Sounding baleful. Let me borrow. <laughs> Berthanine. My song. My sorrow. <laughs> I noticed something strange over here. Not that it wasn't all strange. Come have a look. That's reflected light. Do you see a light up there? We call this a flaw. It's a mistake the memory makers didn't catch. It means that this memory is definitely an implant. been made on an older system. Back then, implants were based on actual human memories and had to be edited. So if there's a reflection on the ground, they edited the ceiling. Your memo can revert the memory to what it was before they changed it. Start by scanning the ceiling. Just point your memo up and pull the trigger. Switch to the Modify Beam. Press and hold the A or X button by your thumbs. Then point data restoration complete. I knew it. This memory was edited and implanted inside your subconscious mind. While the security got to the corpse before LAPD got there. I'll check in, but in the meantime, use your memo to reveal more of the original scene. Don't worry. We made you. And we'll take care of you. Flaw identified. Original image restored. Additional flaws detected. To find them, flaw identified. Data restoration complete. Additional flaws detected. Flaw detected. Flaw removed. Additional flaws detected. To find flaw located. Original image restored. Additional flaws detected. To find them, teleport around the memory. Flaw detected. Data restoration complete. I've got news for you. Get over here. This 
Someone put a lot of effort into altering this memory. I spoke with security. We have bad news. The escaped replicant, the man you killed, was a human. Scan his face for me. Flaw detected. Encoded. Whoever that is created all of this so you would hate and fear that man's face. It looked like it worked. A replicant Blade Runner retiring human could bring on another prohibition. And the end of the Wallace Corporation. We want to help you. Wallace Security will make sure that the body is lost in transit, but LAPD will requisition your memory of the retirement. But since this is the only copy of the event, we can make a few changes. What is this? What are you doing? I'm no replicant! He did try to warn you. Hey! I found a witness! Come up here! There he is. Ubik. It's a nice tag. But it does give the police a way to find him. You're lucky we're not off-world. Down here no one's gonna stick their neck out over just one little homicide. But if the cops can identify any of these people, they will start knocking on doors. I've updated your memo. What you change here will be edited permanently with no flaws for the police to find. Give it a try on that graffiti. Scan contains personal data. Federal ID records were lost in the blackout, but I'll double check any possible witnesses against LAPD's criminal files. In the meantime, use your memo to edit anything the police might use to find a name or address. I guess it's a good thing you're a Blade Runner. Good luck. There were probably more witnesses. To find them, teleport down into the alley and go out. Traceable vehicle record detected. Data alteration complete.
Personal data identified. Alternate data created. Citizen identified. Randomized data placed. Come on, man, you gotta give me another four days. Oh, hey! Personal data detected. Data replacement is complete. Will you have more next week? Personal information detected. Random data now in place. That should be enough. Go back to the alley where the murder happened. There you are. Good news. No one here has a criminal record. But the police did ask to review this memory and there's one detail we can't forget. There, no replicant ID. Good thing you have friends in the Wallace Corporation. I made a record for him in our replicant database. Give him his numbers. Personal data detected. With the body gone, no one can say he wasn't a replicant. Who was this guy? There's not much personal data here. Huh. No. Did you find anything interesting? Esper, analyze. The Esper analyzes reflected light from the original image and shows us information outside of the picture. Looks like someone else was there. Oh. Incoming video call. I'm sure you recognize Neander Wallace. Come forward. Did you not recognize me? Richards, whom you killed, was a productive employee, but developed the moral objections of a lesser mind. I had planned for this. Within you, and any replicant Blade Runner are a series of memories in which you are beaten, humiliated by individuals who might threaten this company's future. 
Today, Richards betrayed me. I called you. And you exceeded every expectation when you killed him. Tyrell claimed his primitives were more human than human. But nothing is more human than violence without reason. Something about this one is exceptional. We will free you from your fears in order to understand how you came to feel them. I envy you, and I lament that the final world will arrive without you in it. Okay, so that was absolutely amazing. I mean, guy, you know, for a cinematic VR experience, they kind of nailed it with this one. A little short, but, you know, that's to be expected with something like a movie tie-in. But, man, the holograms were, like, really cool. I, it was at certain points, you know, I was kind of getting that presency feeling like I was standing next to another person. And, and this really shows me you know, how cool the future of cinematic VR is actually going to be when we can, you know, be in that movie and walk around. Now, this one did have some few limitations, as you noticed when I tried to walk around in the, in the scene. You know, obviously the character wasn't tracking to where I was, so sometimes she wasn't looking in the right direction. And, you know, I mean, but for a, you know, for a first-gen VR experience like this, Man, props. It, 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 this was really cool. And, you know, if you have an Oculus Rift or a Gear VR, I highly recommend download this and check it out for yourself. It's free. You can't go wrong with that. So I'm going to throw a link for this down in the description. And, uh, you know, go there. Grab it. Try it. But for me tonight, guys, that's going to do it. This is VR Gamer Dude. Signing off, y'all. Peace.